Hi, my name's Jason, and this is my daily vlog about living with CMT and uh, other things that happen in my life. Hope you enjoy. Well, as you can hear, it is absolutely plastering it down. This is what we've needed. Let's hope it stays for a little bit. Absolute pouring down. I said with that big black cloud that was above us, we were going to get some. A while ago, I did one of these videos, and in the video, I asked if anybody had um, suffered any um, mental problems from having CMT. Not from having CMT, because I know it doesn't cause that, but has anybody really lost um, themselves? You know, does anybody feel low? Does anybody feel depressed? Does anybody be anxious? Uh, the problem I have with a lot of things is. Um, Sorry, something just come up on my screen. Uh, the problem I have with a lot of things is uh, because of the things that I can no longer do, um, I get very paranoid that when I see people, they're judging me. I think that everybody is looking at me, laughing at me, because when they see me outside walking, they can see I've got problems because I have to use sticks, calipers, etc., etc. And I know that once, obviously, I was able-bodied and I was fine. The um, problem I have, like I say, is I'm dealing with it or trying to deal with it, is this uh, anxiety thing. Now, I just wanted to run past you some of the things I've been advised to do in order to get over me um, stuff. Now, if you've experienced anything like this and you can vouch for it, please, please leave a comment, please, because I would like to find just one person who can say, yes, they've, received some, they've done something positive from this. Some of the exercises I were given in order to help me with my anxiety were to put a straw in my mouth, pinch my nostrils together and breathe as fast as I can until I felt like I was going to choke. Uh, another one, if I'd have been more able-bodied, was run up and down stairs as fast as I can until I feel chest pains. A third one was to wear something tight around my neck that restricted my breathing until I could feel myself choking. I was, all supposed, I was also supposed to breathe in and out as fast as possible without stopping for 30 to 60 seconds until I felt myself going dizzy or feeling nauseous. Now, I've spoke to a few people about this, um, even person, some people who've uh, undergone treatment for anxiety and stress, and not one person has heard of this, and they think it's really, really strange that I was given these instructions. There are a lot more, actually, um, but those are the ones that I was told to focus on. Now... I can't see them being very productive, in fact I can see them being very counterproductive because with me having hypothyroidism and CMT and gastroesophageal reflux disease, oh yeah sorry, one of the other ones they told me to do was sit on a chair and spin round on it as fast as I could for 30 to 60 seconds until I felt like I was going to be sick. Now the last time I got myself to a level of stress that was that high, I ended up in hospital, they had to take me in, I had blood pressure of over 200. And I had to have it brought down, I had to uh, have treatment in the hospital. So <clears throat> I was just wondering if there was anybody else out there who'd had similar problems and if they'd ever been told to try anything as bizarre as the things I've been told to, to try. I mean, I've got to tell her that I can't do it. I can't, I can't do them. I've tried to do three of them and failed miserably because I did feel sick. I was told the reason that they want me to do this is so that I get used to the feelings and realizing myself that there's never going to be a problem there that i can just keep doing them and facing them but surely if you do keep choking yourself you are going to choke surely if you do spin on your chair you can spin on it a hundred times at different times you're still never going to get used to the feeling of feeling sick from spinning on a chair that's the whole thrill of uh, uh, fairground rides surely you go on fairground rides to be thrilled and scared and exhilarated you don't go on them so that you just spin around and go well yeah that was normal <laughs> So that's a, that's, a, that's a bizarre sort of aspect. Uh, another thing with me having um, social anxiety, I can't be around people too long and I can't go out on my own. I can't be on my own to go like the shop or anything like that. So she suggested I go out on my own and walk up and down our street several times with nobody there. The problem I've got with that is of course, with having CMT, Deb is with me not just for emotional support, she's there for physical support, she is my carer. 
you know, she has my pay, she has my carer, and as my carer, she is always there for me because my balance is shocking. It really is terrible, and I have the unfortunate thing where if I stop to rest my balance, my leg goes sleep. So when I go for walk off, I need somebody to help support me, no matter where I'm going anyway. So I can't do that either. Um, so at the moment, the, tr the treatment just seems a, a bit bizarre. And uh, I was just wondering if people have had any experience of anything like this, if they could uh, just write underneath and see, because I've spoke to five or six different people now and not one of them has said it makes sense at all. A lot of people have said that they're completely bizarre and, and that, you know, you don't do things like that anyway. I mean, I've never been known for anybody to be told that to wear something tight around the neck until they feel themselves choking. Well, if you're suffering with anxiety and depression, a lot of the things to first ask you is whether you've ever felt like harming yourself, which is fair enough, that's the first question. Are you a harmer? Are you a self-harmer? Have you ever felt like taking your life? Well, they're basically giving you the ammunition to say, well, I was doing it, but I did it for therapy. I tried to choke myself, but I did it for therapy. I tried to give myself a heart attack with chest pains, but I was doing it for therapy. So where do you draw the line? It's got me baffled now. Anyway. I'm quite, I'm quite um, with that one. I don't understand. Anyway, my Saturday today has consisted of doing literally nothing. And I mean nothing. I took another um, amateur to last night and I didn't get up till half past ten today. Uh, I've done a little bit in the house, but hardly anything at all. Hardly anything at all. So I'm meant to move the camera because my hand's going wobbly and asleep and all sorts um yeah anyway i'm not uh, like i say i'm not doing anything at the moment i'm going to go and do another hour on me uh, aladdin i keep calling it aladdin my indiana jones lego i should get a bit more of it done today and uh, i'll do another video tomorrow you all take care and wherever you are hope you're happy and cheerful and living a good life bye for now If you're enjoying the videos I'm doing, uh, give us a like, and if you can, press the bell at the side of the like, and uh, you'll be notified every time I put a new video on. Okay. I keep meaning to say, and forget every single time, except if I add it on, if you do like what I'm doing, and you want to subscribe, the link is there, and if you want to see yesterday's video, and what I was up to, it is up there. Okay.